Sir, it's time to see some new cards. Got some Century Guard cards from the, the special series 6 Valiant Sentry. So English Twitter has already translated these. Let's take a look. So starting legend Ambrosius. We got this dude. He is just your normal starter. He uh, is the old guy. Um, old old starter. But now he's a... Uh, looks much more uh, K-poppy. All right, much more, much more of a star. All right, uh, and then next we have. Is this a new card? I don't know. I think all, I think these are all the old cards, but but re remade, right? So we've got authoritative, authoritative knight, Balazal. All right. So when placed, look at top seven cards from your deck. Reveal up to one Sanctuary Guard Dragon or Knight of Conquest Weak Stand, Weak Stand, uh, from among them, and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So it's just a generic top seven searcher, and then. Also on the rearguard circle, when you're vanguard, with sanctuary guard and its card name attacks, that unit gets power plus 10k. Uh, power? What? Wait, no, that doesn't sound right. So you got attacks, um, yes, no, so no unit, no, okay, yeah, that, the power gets 10k, alright, good. Um, if you have no face-up cards in your damage zone, you may counter charge one, and this unit, this, this is like a one, hard once per turn effect, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good, you give your vanguard a uh, 10k, um, yeah, alright, seems good. Counter charge as well. And then, we've got, next one, we've got the Wig Stand. Uh, Knight of Conquest Wig Stand. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard with a Sanctuary Guard in its card name, this unit gets a 5k for each of your back row grade 1 regards. Okay, alright, so it's a regard circle effect. Um, it's basically, you can get up to plus 15k, right? It's 25k swing. And then... Also, Vanguard and Regard Circle. When placed, you may counterblast one. Look at seven cards from the top of your deck. Call up to one grade one card from among them to Regard Circle and shuffle your deck. So, this card is basically just the easiest rush card of all time, right? Remember that old uh, Shadow Paladin card? I forget the name now, but it gets like 5k for each of your opponent's empty circles. This guy just, just gets 5k for, uh, for ones in the back. And this calls one, so it just does rushes and hits big. So, uh, yeah, this seems pretty good. Actually, seems pretty good. Uh, and lastly, or is it lastly? Yeah, okay, we got Sanctuary Guard Dragon. Um, if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater and you have a grade 1 unit, it doesn't sound very hard at all, uh, this unit, original critical, becomes 2. Okay, so uh, it's a kind of restriction you know, to balance it out, balance it out. And then, auto... Vanguard circle once per turn, at the end of the battle that attacked while not boosted, you may counterblast one and rest three of your back row grade one regards and discard a card from your hand. Uh, you stand this unit and all your front row units get plus 10,000 till end of turn. So it's a restander. And like with the other, with, with Mr. Wig stand, right? This is 25, 25k, and then this gets, gives it 10 more k, so like 35, 35. It's like, Sanctuary Guard Regalia, but I guess <laughs> I guess the crazy thing about this card is that you don't actually lose a drive. So this is swing for two and two, right? And with like with the uh, with the first effect, you probably want to play Force One, but at the same time, you can also play Force Two because this getting a this becoming two crits means that you can put the Force Two in your regard circles and put on like a big rush, right? So you rush quickly early on, then this comes down. Puts a force two again, like on another regard circle, and then you're banking on like another crit to get on the last one to make your front row all two crits and basically like rushing and like basically kind of controlling them or something like that. So, yeah, okay, it seems pretty good. Otherwise, you just slam the 10k on itself. And uh, I guess with uh, with, with Blazzle effect or whatever it's called, it gets on the 10k, so it's swinging for like 33, and then on the restand, it's swinging for like 40, 43. So, that's it's pretty, pretty strong on the uh. On the first turn of grip, well, not only if you went second, only if you went second. But I, like this in premium is also pretty good. People have been talking about it. You have this card, um, you with the uh, with the new premium card, Crystal Luster Dragon, right? You copy the effect. Uh, doesn't lose drive, so you go three three, and then Crystal Luster has the uh, the guard restrict as well. So that's that's pretty scary when you think about it. If you if you do it on your if, if you first try that, you're going three. You can go two crit two crit. So yeah, if you play this with Great Sage Baron, right, you can swing in for like 3 crit, restand, 3 crit. And both in the standard and premium, that seems pretty good, especially in premium, because it's got like 3 crit, restand with guard restrict, right? So, seems pretty good. Um, Wig stand as well, since he searches a grade 1. Uh, in premium, you can search for Zazen, Zarzan, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. 
because Zarzan's limited, but if you play like kind of like vanilla deck, then this kind of works with that. You can run up with like the vanilla engine, uh, vanilla up, Barragan up, G guard, and then go into the uh, Sanctuary guard combo again. Just basically get a lot of power. So overall, um, it's a very straightforward deck, but basically that's exactly what Royal Paladin is. Very straightforward, very boring, but very effective, right? Very effective. How would you... I don't, I don't really know, like, Sanctuary God and Stand, how that will fare, because, um, feels like it's like a, people's been saying it's just a better Claret, because, you know, fixed Claret, maybe. Uh, I think it can, it's, it's like a very easily splashable deck, in my opinion. Like, just splashing the Sanctuary Guard in itself just seems like, you know, you just throw it in somewhere, and it's, you can kind of be a finisher. All you need is, like, three grade ones in the back row, and you can do a restand. Uh, so, like, against Protect decks, it'd be pretty good. Right now, the, the main daddy is MLB, so, you know, you can kind of, maybe you can, like, mix it up, because they were running, like, Exculpates before, to kind of be your finisher, but technically, you, run, you can run, like, Sanctuary Guard, right? Maybe change your Grade 1 ratios a bit, because, honestly, you probably do, like, running more Grade 1s means you have kind of slightly more defensive power than heavy Grade 2 counts. So, like, with that deck as well, what, you're only running 4 Grade 3s currently, so... Changing some of the grade ratios around, I don't think is not is that much of a problem. So, I think this is definitely a very splashable card, and just the overall power of like if you think about like combining it with MLB, you like, like sit around doing like your normal stuff for a while, getting lots of force markers, sitting on 18k, be really annoying, and then suddenly you ride like SGD. This is things like hitting like a massive truck for like billions of turns. While well, there was this extra layer of like guard restrict that you've done before. So overall, I think, yeah, SGD seems pretty cool, um, but yeah, very splashable deck, very splashable deck, so it'd be nice to see how Royal Paladin decks evolve, and maybe this will become, like, really good again in premium, I guess? Well, it, it has to contend with, like, what's it contending with? MLB, I guess, right? <laughs> in premium, so, uh, yeah, you can, maybe, maybe it's just gonna be, like, an easy standard plus deck, I don't know, I don't know, seems, funny thing is about this card is that, if you played in premium, right, and you get those double, triple, re triple drive restands. You could probably play like a more defensive build of like Royal Paladin, and just try and get as many hands as you want while kind of controlling your opponent's damage at some point. So, I guess it seems okay. I mean, you can also run stands and just stand your back rows, so you can uh, you can boost Twin Blade or something and make more attacks <laughs> for, for more janky plays. Yeah. <laughs> Seems good. Uh, we'll just test it out. Test it out. Give it a try. These are these are the only five cards being released, right? Well, this is a quick shield Daigo, but uh, I'm, I don't know if we're gonna get that. But these four cards, very straightforward. One, two, three, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it from me. I think I, I dragged on this topic long enough because you know gotta 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 make eight minutes. Uh, let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.